Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormus back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys. We're here again uh, for yet another Call of Duty League video. Today we're going to be talking about the week three uh, major qualifiers. Uh, of course, we just finished them up yesterday, so uh, some pretty fun matches over the month, but uh, yeah, let's talk about it. We've got uh, some interesting matches for sure. So going through this weekend, we had Paris and Toronto, a 3-0 from Toronto. Um, yeah, I mean, wasn't too surprising. Really, Toronto looked pretty solid uh, in all fairness. Uh, then Seattle versus Florida. I said in my predictions video that one would be a toss-up that I could see going either way. Uh, so yeah, I mean, not really too surprising there. 3-1 from Seattle. And then you move on to the final match of Friday. We had Minnesota versus Atlanta, uh, which was a pretty interesting one. Uh, of course, Minnesota 3 0 Atlanta. Minnesota goes 5 0 in qualifiers. Clearly, the Havoc change has made a lot of change. Uh, but nonetheless, moving on to Saturday Atlanta versus LAG. Atlanta in 4. Uh, continuing on, London versus Toronto. Uh, the other battle of EU from this weekend. Toronto 3 1. So Toronto had a 6 1 map count. Uh, Atlanta had a 3 4 map count. <laughs> Uh, on the weekend, so those are two teams that played two matches this weekend. Um, LAT then uh, against Boston, which was really surprising, a 3-0 from the Thieves. Really wasn't expecting that at all. And similarly, uh, I wasn't expecting a 3-1 from the Subliners over Texas, so that was very interesting. Uh, and then moving on to Sunday, a 3-0 from the Surge over the Ravens. The Ravens do not look good right now. And the Surge looked pretty decent. Surge having a 6-1 map count uh, right up there with Toronto this weekend. And then you look at Florida, 3-2 uh, over the Breach. Ended up going 4-5 uh, in their two matches of the week. And then Texas 3 0 the Thieves. Texas end up going 4-3. Uh, LA Thieves going 3-3. Three three. So pretty interesting. Um, I didn't open it up, but let me open up my pickums for you guys. Uh, so then we can see what my predictions looked like. I had a flawless uh, Friday. I got all three matches right. I just didn't get the map count right on any of them. Um, but yeah, I went flawless Friday, so that was a good feeling. Started off Friday, uh, so not Friday, sorry. I started off Saturday pretty good. Atlanta beating the Gorillas and then Toronto beating London. Uh, after that, though, it all went to shit. Two upsets, definitely. Uh, of course, I expected the Breach to beat the Thieves, and I expected Texas to beat the Subliners, so pretty interesting. Moving on to Sunday, uh, I then uh, also had Surge beating uh, London Royal Ravens. Uh, I had the Breach beating the Mutineers. Uh, obviously, didn't go that way, and then I had Texas beating the Thieves. So overall, 16 points this week. Uh, wasn't too bad, 42 points uh, in the major so far. Pretty interesting, and here is a look at the tournament that is next weekend. I'm very, very excited for this. So, taking a look at winners first, of course, we have Rocker and Thieves up on the top side uh, of the winners, also with uh, Toronto and Atlanta. So, those will be some really fun matches. Then on the bottom side of the bracket, we have Texas versus, Mun or versus Florida, uh, sorry. Uh, and then we have Seattle versus New York. So we have some very interesting matches. Some new teams up there in the winners as well. Uh, and then looking at the losers, the set losers are Boston, Paris, LAG, and London. So kind of surprising for Breach, Gorillas, and Royal Ravens. Uh, just because, I mean, I, Breach finished, uh, what, third? Uh, at Major 2, Gorillas finished first. Royal Ravens obviously finished third in Major 1. Um, they obviously looked to have improved a little bit heading into Major 2, but then it all kind of went downhill after that. Uh, ended up getting eliminated in losers, I think, here. Um, and what is that? The uh, losers quarters, I think it is. Uh, but nonetheless, so... We've got some interesting matches. I mean, overall, right now, quick and early brief predictions. I have Rocker beating the Thieves. Uh, I honestly don't know who's going to win this series. I'm honestly feeling more towards Toronto right now. Uh, so Toronto beating Atlanta. Texas beating Florida. And honestly, I could see Seattle beating New York. Uh, Seattle has looked pretty good, especially this weekend. Uh, continuing on, though, then you have losers. I mean... Again, it's just surprising to see the Breach down there more than anyone, I feel. Uh, but, of course, Breach versus what I'll have is LAT, so a rematch. 
Uh, then I'll have Atlanta versus Paris in the losers, and that would be an interesting one because that's when Paris would show up and Atlanta would choke, but I, I don't know. You never know, right? Uh, then we have Muneers versus Gorillas, which will be a fun match, and then we have uh, Subliners uh, versus the Ravens, which will also be a fun match. So I'm very excited. Uh, it's going to be a fun weekend ahead. Quickly, I would like to take a look at the standings now because they've changed quite a bit over this major. So still in 12th place, we have Paris back down in 11th, I think. Uh, did they ever actually get out of 11th? Maybe not. Nonetheless, New York right there in 11th. Florida and LAT tied at 90 points, but 10th for Florida and 9th for the Thieves. So currently, if champ started right now, We'd have Toronto, Minnesota, Seattle, LAG, Boston, London, Texas, and Atlanta going to the playoffs. But Toronto and Minnesota at a 100-point tie. Of course, that 5-0, and uh, this major uh, did wonders for Minnesota. So obviously, they're uh, at a positive record now. Uh, Toronto still at a negative record, but overall, they looked pretty good this weekend. Uh, so yeah, Toronto at 8, Minnesota at 7, of course. Like I said, they're both tied at 100 points. Seattle alone in 6th with 110. LAG alone in 5th with 125, although they're only 5 points behind the breach right now. Uh, of course, with 130 points in 4th, Royal Ravens with 140 in 3rd. And again, top 2 are still, uh, yeah, I mean the best teams in the league, really. Uh, well, I mean, maybe a little bit of an asterisk more for Atlanta. Of course, Texas just be, uh, lost to New York. I don't think New York's a bad team by any means. They're, for what they are right now, they definitely shouldn't be in 11th. But nonetheless, uh, Texas with 205 in second and Atlanta with 210 in first. So uh, pretty interesting at this point. Unfortunately, it seems like you could almost write off Paris. Like at this point, they would have to have a, a decent run here in... Um, major three uh at next weekend in the actual tournament to get some cdl points they would have to get at least like 30 or 40 cdl points to really be able to give themselves a chance to make it into um the playoffs later this year but yeah i'm still very intrigued of course this battle between uh i mean I mean, yeah, honestly, the battle between London to New York is very close. Of course, 70 points uh, differential from London to New York. I could definitely see London staying pretty steady around that 140, and I could see New York getting close to that 140, so it's very possible. I'm very intrigued to see what these teams can do over the next couple of weeks. Uh, again, it's probably a guarantee that Atlanta or Texas is going to finish one or two. Maybe one of them drops to third. Who knows? Uh, but then apart from that, I mean, it's kind of still all questions and hands up in the air. Like, where is New York going to finish? Where is Florida going to finish? Where is LAT going to finish? Where is Toronto, Minnesota, Seattle, LAG, Boston, London? Where are they all going to finish? Who knows, right? So, uh, again, major for the Gorillas, of course, winning major two. They got so many points from that. But they still have a lot of work ahead of them. And they obviously aren't looking like they're getting many points right now. Uh, they did not have a good qualifier at all. So, yeah, who knows what will happen, of course. Uh, again, I'm very excited for what the bracket uh, looks like right now. It'll be a fun event. I am positive. So, thank you guys all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.